What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time coming, but I finally pulled the trigger on the dream too. After my smart sleep fiasco, I swore I was never going to wear another stupid headband to bed again. But many of you reached out asking me to review the dream too. And I am so glad I did because I freaking love it. I've been wearing it for nearly two months now. And so in this video, I'll be sharing my data and experience, the pros and cons of this device, and how the Dream 2 compares to some of the other popular sleep trackers on the market, including the Aura Ring. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. So let's kick things off with the very basic mechanics of how this thing works. And if you're already very familiar with the Dream 2, then feel free to jump ahead in the video timeline. The Dream headband has a ton of unique features, but it's the sensors that are the bread and butter of this device. Woven into the plushy fabric of this device are six EEG sensors, four in the front and two in the back. And these are measuring your brain waves minute by minute as you sleep. What's great is that these sensors are actually designed for optimal skin contact, meaning you're not gonna be left with red forehead marks in the morning, which was a huge issue I had with the Philips smart sleep device. That brain data is then captured and analyzed by the built-in microcomputer that sits atop the device. Using their algorithms and perhaps a sprinkle of magic fairy dust, the Dream 2 then churns out your raw EEG data into more digestible sleep graphs that include all four sleep stages and your position changes throughout the night. And I've gotta be honest, I was pretty surprised to see how much I actually move around when I sleep, averaging around 30 different positions every single night. And what's cool is on the app itself, you can actually scroll through their hypnogram to see this in action. And speaking of movement, let's turn to the accelerometer, which is built into the top arch of the band. In addition to capturing your sleep positions, this is also going to measure your nightly breathing rate. They've also built a microphone at the top of the band to help detect any breathing irregularities Similarities, which could be really helpful for someone with sleep apnea. And when it comes to heart rate data, they've included a pulse oximeter in the sensor strip along the forehead for precise accuracy. Now I'll address some of the other features, including their smart wake alarm in just a sec. But first let's jump ahead to data accuracy and the aesthetics of this app. And when it comes to data accuracy, I think it's fair to say that the Dream 2 is really in a league of its own. It's an FDA registered medical grade EEG device that's backed by years of research, clinical trials, and partnerships with some top sleep experts in the field. And if you wanna nerd out a little bit more on this, I've included a link to their 35 page white paper in the show notes below so you can learn more. But short of going to a sleep lab, you're not gonna find this type of science backed data in any sleep tracking device on the market right now. And this is the reason I decided to buy the Dream 2, even though I have nearly two years of sleep data from my Aura Ring. So I guess you can say I came for the accuracy, but truth be told, I am staying for the aesthetics. And let me explain why. I didn't think it was possible to make sleep data sexy. Okay, maybe that is a little bit of a stretch, but what I will say is that their app makes analyzing your sleep data far more enjoyable than pretty much any device out there. And I'm looking at you, Aura. As you'll see here, in addition to a detailed breakdown of your sleep quality and stages, you'll also get these daily sleep cards. These highlight the hits and misses of the night, along with bite-sized sleep tips. Everything is straightforward, simple to read, and all in one place, which is a far cry from the way Fitbit scatters their sleep data all over the app. And since we are on the topic of aesthetics, let's quickly address the headband itself. I get it, it is not the most glamorous thing to wear to bed, but you gotta trust me, this is way better looking than some of their older models. And perhaps what surprised me the most, in a good way, was how comfortable it is. Everyone told me the Dream 2 is super comfortable. And I guess it was just one of those things I couldn't believe until I actually tried it myself. Not only did this fit my tiny head, but it also stayed on said tiny head 
throughout the night, no problem. For me, comfort with these things really comes down to two big factors, fabric, and adjustability. And the Dream has optimized for these two factors with things like flexible foam and attachable bands to adjust the size. Now, before we jump to my data, I wanna quickly address the headband acoustics. The band itself uses bone conduction technology, meaning sounds transmit straight to your ears through your bone and muscle tissue rather than air. It's really designed for your ears only which is very helpful if you sleep with a partner. And part of what makes the dream experience so ideal for people who struggle getting to sleep, like myself, is their sleep onset feature, which plays light music or meditation to help lull you to sleep. You also get a smart alarm option that's designed to wake you up in your lightest sleep stage, so you end up feeling less groggy and more refreshed. So now let's move on to my data as I compare some of the biggest differences between the Dream 2, the Aura Ring, and the Fitbit Sense. For time's sake, I am just going to share some of the highlights from my past month, but if you want to see a more deep dive into the Dream versus the Aura and the Fitbit, leave me a comment below and I will make that video for you. So where all three devices excel is in total sleep time and heart rate data. As you'll see in my charts here, the trend lines for total sleep were pretty consistent across the board. And my average nightly heart rate was nearly identical for all three devices. Where we start to see some bigger discrepancies though is in the REM and deep sleep scores. Take a look at my REM chart here and you'll see that the Dream 2 and the Fitbit Sense are much closer in trend lines than the Aura Ring. Now on the deep sleep front, here's where the numbers were really all over the map. This looks more like a Rorschach test than an actual graph, which just goes to show how difficult a value deep sleep is to quantify. Now, if we believe the Dream 2 to be the most accurate, then that basically means the algorithms for the Aura Ring and the Fitbit Sense are miscalculating your deep sleep data more than 50% of the time, which is pretty statistically significant. And you'll even see the same thing going on with light sleep here, where the Dream 2 really undershoots this score when compared to the Oura Ring and the Fitbit. So what does all of this data tell us about these three devices? Well, the good news is that the algorithms for some of these smaller devices are getting better and better especially when it comes to predicting things like heart rate, total sleep, and even your REM sleep score. And even despite some of these discrepancies, I still credit the Aura Ring for helping me develop better sleep habits and be able to make some correlations around my sleep over time. But that deep sleep stat is still a tough nut to crack. And so if you are concerned with accuracy, I'd say you're better off with this EEG headset than say a smartwatch or a smart ring, which leads me to the pros and cons of this device. Now on the plus side, accuracy is a big selling point. And so the data you'll get from this device is gonna be some of the most reliable you'll find on the market today. Second, only to a sleep lab. I also love the sleep onset and smart wake features, which really give the Dream 2 a competitive edge when it comes to optimizing sleep performance. And finally, we come to comfort and the Dream 2 really exceeded my expectations here. They've jam-packed a ton of advanced features and technology into a small compact device that doesn't feel like a burden going to bed. But with every great device, there's always areas to improve. Let's take portability, for example. Sure, you can travel with this, but since it requires charging every single day, it is going to require a little bit more work than say your standard ring or watch. Now I had to do a lot of traveling in the past month, which I did with my Dream 2, but there were a handful of nights in which I had to sleep in a car or on a plane, making wearing this thing less than ideal. Another drawback is the data export experience. With both the Fitbit and the Aura Ring, you can access all your data online, but this is not the case with the Dream. You can export all your data through their app as a CSV file, 
but it is not a very pleasant viewing experience. And when it comes to accessing your raw EEG brain data, which is something I was so excited to do, you have to pay an additional $700 in order to join their research program. And considering this device is $500 itself, I feel like this feature should be included in your total package, but maybe that's just me. And finally, my biggest complaint about this device is that I simply can't access all their features. And let me explain. They actually have two different versions, one for Europe and one for the United States. The European one comes with things like pink noise and deep sleep enhancement, which is supposed to improve your sleep quality. But due to FDA regulations, they can't enable these features in the US version which is something I didn't realize until I got the device and reached out to their customer support team. Now I understand this is not their fault and maybe this will change down the line, but it is disappointing to have a device and know that you aren't really getting everything out of it that you can simply because of where you live. So finally we come to the age old question of who should buy this device. I thought about this for a long time now when I really think that there are two major camps that would benefit the most from using the Dream 2. Number one is people who have tried everything but still struggle with their sleep. Now, if you've tried all the biohacks, including the blue blockers, the red light, the cold therapy, the supplements, but you still are not waking up feeling refreshed, this device might be able to help you narrow in on your sleep issues by giving you more actionable and concrete data and you might get from your standard sleep tracker. And the other group of people is the data obsessed sleep nerds like myself, who really want the best technology to conduct all their crazy sleep experiments. I have a ton of new products I am so excited to share with you guys, including the new Calm and the eight sleep mattress cover. And I'm planning to review all of them using the data I get from my dream device. When it comes to REM and deep sleep, I just trust the data I'm getting from these EEG sensors than I do from the infrared light sensors coming from both my Oura Ring and my Fitbit, making this an ideal tool for heavy duty analysis. So that is my full take on the Dream 2. I love it guys. And I am so excited that I finally gave it a try. I thank all of you for pushing me on this. This is what the community is about, sharing things that you love and Man, do I love this thing. So I also love the Oura Ring, don't get me wrong. I think they're all great tools. And I think that depending on what your sleep goals are, if you're just looking to get a baseline, then you don't necessarily have to spend $500 for just a device that will only work at night. If you want something more, they have designed a lot of great options out there. So be mindful and also look for some holiday sales because it is that time of year. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it two big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell and select all. So you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I cannot wait to catch you on the next one.